everybody, so I'm sorry I did not upload the other day, but, uh, so I'm uploading now! <laughs> um, I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is a lot lighter than it was the other day. I did a bleach bath on it. I'm going to do the vitamin C thing again and see if that'll pull out even more. Um, so my hair is actually really smooth, and it's silky, and I love it! Um, so today I went and did a photo shoot with a friend of mine. Um, he's a really good photographer, he's super cool. I'll show you all the pictures if you want to see them after I, um, get a hold of them. Uh, so we shot in film and in black and white, and I think we did one roll of color, which was really cool. But the neat thing was, is that we were walking around the neighborhood just trying to find areas to take pictures at. And, um, there's like this big blue water tower thing by me, which is like really weird. Um... So we went up that way, but it dead ends. But there's this little sign that says there's a house for sale. And we were like, that makes no sense, because there's no house around here. But there's like this tiny little path that goes up and around the thingy. And we're like, hmm, let's check that out. So we go back there, and there's this pl big cement platform. And there is house crap just everywhere. Like, this house was, like, knocked down or something, and the only thing that's left standing is this platform. It was crazy. So we found, like, this door, and we propped it up, and then we took pictures, and I'm, like, standing in the middle of the thing, and there's this door. <laughs> it was so funny. It was awesome. Um, it was a lot of fun, so I can't wait to see the pictures and how they, um, turned out from that. Oh, and then, there is a, um, abandoned house up the street from my place. And I only just now realized it, and I've been living here for, like, a l half a year or so. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's weird. So, um, like, I have this new obsession with abandoned houses. Has Have any of you ever gone into one or any of that, or know somebody that did? Um, if you have any advice about them, please let me know, because that would be really, really helpful. Because <laughs> um, there's, like, I counted close to seven of them around Knoxville, which I thought was crazy. Um, so that was really fun. Uh, I couldn't walk fully into the house because, um, some of the floor was, like, caved in, and I mean, this thing didn't have a basement, but I don't want to be walking through and get sucked underneath the house, you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, um, it kind of makes my eyebrows look like they're purple or something. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I have a cover that I've got to do for a friend, and I'll, um, upload that soon, so y'all can see it. <laughs> oh, anyway, um, so, but other than that, I don't think there's, oh, the abandoned house, I was talking about the, <sighs> anyway, um, so, uh, we'll, we walked over to the abandoned house, and I had never been up there before, and I thought it was really interesting, because I just noticed, like, this past week that there was one there, um, because somebody had gone and cleared some trees away. So we get up there, and we're, pull, the truck pulls in, and we're, we're walking down this little thingy to get back to the house, because there's tons of woods around it again, um, and we see this big, huge thing. Well, he sees it first, and then I see it, and I was like, oh my gosh! That is so cool! And it was a rusted old car! It was like, I can't believe I got excited over that. I mean, that's really dumb, but it was a rusted old car. It was so cool. Um, so then we keep walking back towards the thing. So I stood in the doorway, took a couple shots, went in the house, took a couple shots, blah blah blah. And then we came back out, and then there's a couple other little barny type, like storage shed type things around. So we went there, and we took a couple pictures in those, and then we're walking down this thing, and there's just this big tire. Just this big tire sitting in the middle of the forest. Just like... So, it was like, hmm, you could stand on that. And then as we're going back farther, we're like, oh my gosh, there is a rusted bug. It was so cool. And bug as in, like, the car type thing. I cannot think tonight, so I'm sorry. I know there is, there's another name for it. Anyway, so, there's one sitting back there, and it's rusted, and it's so cool! I was like, holy cow! But, like, the steering wheel is, like, this big! It's, like, bigger than my head! It was so crazy! <laughs> well, no steering wheels are bigger than my head, but then again, I also have a very big head, so either way... <laughs> oh, dear. So, um... But, yeah, it was a lot of fun. 
Uh, so, and I found this thing, and it's, like, round on this one end, and then it comes to, like, this weird point thingy on this other end, and I took it, because it looked really cool, <laughs> I was like, eh, it was, like, this metal, like, screw thingy, anyway, um, so, yeah, it was a lot of fun, uh, I'm really sad because my grandparents are leaving on Sunday, uh, but, you know, they've been here for two weeks, I wish they could have stayed longer, but, uh, y'all be, y'all will be getting better quality videos than this from now on, then, <laughs> so, um, I have a, uh, hair dye tips, tricks, blah, 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 coming up soon. Uh, I'm gonna redo my hair FAQ, because when I did that, I was not thinking straight, and I was just, like, crazy. So, um, stay tuned, and I hope that y'all have a good weekend. Uh, tell me what you did this weekend, give me advice, blah, 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 any of that fun stuff. Talk to you later. Bye.